Good morning, guys. This is Mary Beth on the Mary and Joe channel. I'm giving you an update on our wedding anniversary series. Today, I'm having some friends over to help me continue to make uh, the DIY table decorations uh, for our event. This is Linda. We're just making cassages. Hello. Okay. And this, let me get over here. This is Deborah. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. This is me. And I'll give you a short tutorial on how to make a cassage. You have a flower. And the first thing you do is strip the flower down and leave yourself a long stem about four or five inches. Bend it down like this. Okay, uh, we fan folded some some netting, and it's out of this netting right here. We fan fold it, and you put it on a stem. I've already done that, so you attach it to your flower. And I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. We're making uh, pink, and this is off white. And you can see, just keep turning around like this. And you've got the beginning of a cassage. We're using white leaves. Like this. And you attach the leaves onto your stem. Just keep working. Okay, Deborah, I'll, I'll delete some of these. I'm using two leaves. These leaves kind of stabilize your flower. You put them in behind, and that makes your flower, uh, your netting stand up. You have the uh, tape. You just start winding your tape. It's sticky uh, floral tape and you twist it keep twisting it go all the way down your ribbon and uh, Linda's over there making me a ribbon okay and you can see that this can turn into a cute cassage and then maybe the next time I'll have time to show you how we make this bow but then you attach the bow onto the stem using wire and this is the way it comes out and then you take the tape and you gotta cover up all the wire that you uh, put on after you get that done and then you just twist the bottom stem around like this and you have a cassage okay we use a, a cassage pen and we're ready this is our workstation and so far we have made a, a whole lot of cassages. We're aiming to make 25 cassages today. Well, so far, we put these little thank you cards. It says thank you for celebrating our 50th wedding anniversary with us. And we've made these and put them in a basket. Well, uh, it's the end of the day and my heifers are gone, but, um, we got a lot of work done today, and um, I'll show you what we finished with. And the most important thing was we did all of my invitations. We put the stamps on them. We got them ready, and we sent them off to the post office by Joe Clyde. So all of that is mailed out. I'm so thankful for the help of Linda and Deborah. They're my 
very, very good friends. Okay, today um, I was showing you how to make cassages, and these are some the finished products. We finished our little uh, treats that uh, everybody can pick up at the door. They're um, like I showed you today. It's a little thank you. It's um, candy with a little card. A thank you. Finish those. Got them in the basket. I'm going to do a champagne toast. And so we decided that we should put the champagne glasses together before we get there because it'd just be too much trouble when we're decorating. So we put them together and we got a great big bag and we got this bag with those. So before they got here, I made me this flower to carry. It's not so big, but I think it'll be just right. So as I said, today was a good day. I uh, hope that I taught you a little bit of something on DIY. Please uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And we only have four weeks from today for my anniversary gala. I hope we have a good time. Good night.